much for joining us today. We're really excited to speak with you. That's great. I'm glad to be here. It's nice to meet you both. That one was so much fun because David and I are both huge, huge Yankee fans. And, oh, I love you more now. And I, I think uh, if either one of us could have hit a curveball better, we wouldn't have become actors. You, when you worked on the X-Files, you were, uh, we're going to talk about your role as Agent Arthur Dales first. So what were some of your favorite behind the scenes moments or filming moments while, while doing that episode? Well, I got to tell you, I, I had auditioned for uh, X-Files probably six, seven times and they never hired me. And I told them this is the last time I'm coming in <laughs> because it was always 5 p.m. on a Friday at 20th Century Fox, which was 24 miles from my home uh, in LA, Friday, 5 p.m. That's a six hour round trip. So, and, and I never got the job, you know, and some, some shows are like that, you know, you're just not simpatico. Or... So it was the last time I, I did it. And, uh, uh, and, and luckily I got the call, I got the job on the way home. Shortened that two and a half hour drive back home that Friday night. But, um, <laughs> Um, it, what was interesting about it was that was that episode, um, David and Ju Jillian were doing uh, their movie and they were too darn busy to work on their own television show. So my character, Arthur Dales, kind of babysat the show for them while they were, while they were too busy. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, oh, which one are we talking about? We're talking about, oh, Arthur Dales, the, the first one. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the unnatural. Right. Um, what was really interesting about that was uh, it was originally called In the Big Inning, Big Inning, Baseball and Beginning, the Start of. And it was actually the birth of the X-Files, that episode, you may recall. <laughs> Wonderful little scene um, where I tell uh, the woman I'm working with to file it under uh, she said, oh, I said, it's un completely un un inexplicable or something. She goes, well, I'll, I'll put it in the X. It's, it's unexplainable or something like that. And she said, well, I'll put it in the X files. And I said, well, why don't you put unexplained in the U files? And she said, because it's all full. <laughs> and that's, that's how the term the X files came about. And I remember before we shot that scene, I think it was Rob Goodwin, <clears throat> one of the producers who, uh, who I had worked with before on a, a series like 15 years earlier but anyway he came up to me <laughs> and said look this is a very important scene don't don't screw it up <laughs> he was busting my balls but you know uh, it was kind of cool and I got to work with um, the director uh, Billy Graham who uh, who passed away a few years ago he was a, an, an amazing guy he's from the old uh, Playhouse 90s, the early 50s and early uh, 60s television shows, you know, the shot in New York live with real actors. And yeah. so he, he's as old school as you can get in the world of television. So it was it was a blast working with him. And of course, Jesse L. Martin uh, playing uh, the alien. Uh, he's a terrific guy, an extraordinarily talented guy. So uh, it, was, it was fun working with him you were playing baseball i mean how much fun was it being around the old time stadium and, and just well you know i've always wanted to always wanted to be in a baseball movie and i i've never been in a baseball movie which is completely unfair and um and we're on the baseball dime and everybody's playing baseball and i'm in a sheriff's uniform with cowboy boots on <laughs> uh i i played third base anyway <laughs> And, and a 1940s glove, you know? So I was at a, a real disadvantage baseball-wise during, during that time. But, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I remember David said, wait a second, wait a second. I don't know, can you, can you throw and catch? And I went, oh, baby, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to anyway. He, David came up to me one day and said, don't throw it that well. You're making, you're making Jesse look bad. Yeah, been working with uh, Jesse and, and David, did you ever get to film or were you on the set when uh, Darren McGavin was there playing the older No, version? unfortunately, yeah. Oh. You see, because that would have, <clears throat> two different universes would have come together and pff, we wouldn't be sitting here talking now. <laughs> you have to do that in, in, in television and movies. You can't talk to the younger version of yourself or you could you know, screw up the timeline. 
And un unfortunately, uh, I didn't get to meet him and he passed away right before we were going to do the second episode. Emmett Welsh. Yes. Yeah, an extraordinary actor. And um, yeah, we worked together in Ordinary People back in 1980. He was uh, the swim coach on, on the, the swim team at, uh, at our high school. But I almost had David talked into letting me do it with prosthetics at one point. He thought about that, uh, almost. He thought about it for 40, 40 seconds or so. But David was a first time director on The Unnatural. And uh, I, I was reading about um, how uh, Michael Watkins spent a lot of time helping him out. What was it like working with a first time director as an actor who you know, had experience, you have this other actor directing you who's essentially a baby as a director. What was that experience? Don't oh. tell him I called him a baby. <laughs> oh, baby director, that's okay. Um, well, first of all, David's an extraordinarily intelligent, talented man, um, which is a really good place to start. And uh, any good director will surround themselves with Michael Watkins and things like that. Um, I thought he did a terrific job. You know, I really did. No matter what, a, a, a film set should be fun. You know, even if you're out in the rain at three in the morning. You know? Which happens. I think that's why most people are in this line of work because- Like to get wet. <laughs> we just like to have fun. If, if we're not working and having fun, then uh, what's the point, you know? Can you tell us a little bit about, so you were on the X-Files sort of during the height of its popularity. And you know, not this once, but twice. Yeah. Um, so what was that like being part of this, this crazy phenomenon? Well, uh, I, I was happy to work on the show. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't get into all the fandoms and, and all that. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a good acting job for me with some good people, you know, and an interesting story. So yeah. I, I cared about that, and I, you know. I did the first one and I'm sitting on my couch one day. I don't know how, how, you know, eight, nine months later and I get a phone call and it's, hi Fred. Yeah, this is David Duchovny from the X-Files. And I, and I thought it was my friend Marty busting my butt. And I, I, I was, I, I took the phone and I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Cause, cause it sound, kind of sounded like David Duchovny. But I darn near hung up on him. I, I was a tenth of a second away. Sometimes when I've told a story, I have hung up on it because it's a better story. But that's yeah. not what really happened. Yeah. It was probably probably one of the um, expected responses. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you call somebody up out of the blue and say, "Hey, this is David Duchovny from the X Files." You know, you're probably going to get hung up on you know twenty percent of the time at least. Why do you think the show is still so relevant? You have, we have these comic cons we go to or have been to all over the world. And I still see 10 year olds there who are so obsessed with the show. Like you weren't even born when the show ended. How is it that the show still resonates all these years later? I think good TV shows will do that, you know, last beyond their little stretch. And, um, you know, it's, it's about aliens. <laughs> You know, aliens have a built-in audience. A lot of people want to believe. A lot of people have, a, have had experiences, uh, you know, and once, uh, once a group of people coalesce around this idea, this, uh, this product, uh, you know, and share love, it just, uh, love for it, it just keeps growing and growing. Um, it's a well-made movie, a uh, TV show about aliens. How can it not last? Do you have a favorite scene that you filmed while you were working, either on Travelers or The Unnatural? Um, well, I had a few of them. I mean, uh, from, I enjoyed working with Jesse. Um, I think our scenes were, were fun and, and touching at times. Um, I enjoyed playing baseball. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the scene I told you about where we, uh, the beginning of The X-Files, was kind of fun. Um, oh, there was a scene in the first one when I was, I run into Edward Skur, I believe his name was. Oh. Yeah. And uh, they set up this, uh, this um, stunt where I was going to get shoved in a dark alley and fly through like eight garbage cans. <laughs> and, 
and I, I begged them to let me do it, and and I did it. <laughs> I'm probably paying for it now, <clears throat> but uh, but that was a lot of fun, you know. And I didn't break any bones, but I, I got to be a tough guy and impress stuntmen, which is always a, a fun thing to do. I enjoyed all of it. I I don't remember not enjoying anything. Well, there was one uh, when he's dying, when Jesse's yeah. dying. <clears throat> that was early in the morning in a cold field uh, with him lying in my lap on the ground for a couple of hours. And that, that hurt physically. Um, but besides that, it was yeah. just a bunch of, it was a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> uh, you just reminded me, um, next time you watch the episode, if you ever do again, uh, look for the names on the back of the players that, uh, that uh, the alien is playing with. There's, okay there's producers names and, and uh you know there's eggs in there frank spotnitz there's a spotnitz player you know so this is our last question and we ask this to everyone that we've had the pleasure of catching up with what is your message to all the x-files fans who are going to be watching this keep believing the answer's out there guys thank, thank you guys you.